Colaway News Now has a long history of being a news leader in the Truckee Meadows. We were the first station in Reno and just the second in the state of Nevada. Our first broadcast in September of 1953. Hi, I'm Sarah Johns. And I'm Pat Hambright. While our history is remarkable, we are always looking to the future. We are always getting new technology like the TVU Backpack Live units, allowing us to go live where other stations can't, like from the sidelines of a massive wildfire. Our control room is a sophisticated system with automation of the newscast and master control. Our fleet includes microwave trucks, a satellite truck, a state-of-the-art on-call satellite system that pairs with the TVU units, allowing us to cover even more of northern Nevada than ever before. We are on the forefront of social media as well, with the Colowate News Now page engaging more than 25,000 fans. We are also on Twitter. Pinterest, Google+, Vine, and Instagram, and always looking for a new way to reach our audience. Our on-air staff is equipped with smartphones and tablets to get information quickly when news happens. We live up to our goal of keeping you connected on many platforms. Our newscasts are streamed live to numerous devices, so you can be on the go, but still watching our news. The Colaway brand is Expect More, and that culture starts with our staff. Colaway News Now staff members are not just working journalists, they are strong members of the community as well. Our staff has the most senior reporters and behind the scenes employees in the market, allowing us to dig deeper into stories and tell the viewer what really matters to their lives. And once you're done with work, there's a beautiful world right outside the Colo Studios. Reno is home to more than 225,000 people. Outside of the Las Vegas area, we are the largest city in the state. We are known as the biggest little city in the world, a mantra that greets visitors downtown at the Reno Arch. This area is also referred to as the Truckee Meadows, as we sit alongside the beautiful Truckee River. When you include neighboring sparks into the mix, the Reno area has more than a half a million residents. Like most cities in Nevada, gaming is a huge part of the economy. We're the birthplace of gaming giant Harris Corporation. 65% of the workforce is employed in the trade and service sector, but we're always growing and looking for diverse opportunities. Of all the cities in the world, tech giant Apple chose the Reno area to build a massive support facility that will house the iCloud data center. With no corporate or personal income tax, this area is appealing to businesses of all kinds. Reno is also home to an international airport. It has been serving passengers since 1929 and has recently undergone a $70 million expansion with top-notch service but plenty of flights. It's easy for family and friends to visit or to catch a flight for yourself. Recreation is also big business in the Reno Tahoe area, but even when the workers get done for the day, there's plenty of playing to do. Reno's home to numerous year-round events like the Wild and Richest Rodeo in the West every June. The 10-day event brings more than 100,000 people to the area. This ropes in $42 million to the Reno economy. Now, once July starts, Reno goes to the arts. Art Town is an area-wide event with something for everyone. With more than 500 events, Art Town brings culture from all over the world right to our backyard. August really heats up with the hot August nights. Classic cars takes over the roads, everyone taken back in time for a week during the hottest part of the year. Labor Day weekend brings the smell of ribs to the region. The annual Best in the West Rib Cook-Off held every year at John Esquaga's Nugget and Sparks. From meaty competition to simply sampling until you're stuffed. This is one event you won't want to miss. And once you get your fill of that, sit back and wait for early September and watch the great Reno balloon races. The colorful and sometimes comical balloons can be seen from just about every backyard in town. You might even be able to catch a ride on one of the balloons. Mid-September has all of us looking to the sky as well. It's the Reno air races. From fast planes to acrobatic air maneuvers, it's hard to miss the sights in the skies above. Tragedy struck the air races in 2011 when a plane crashed into the crowd. Extensive safety measures have been put into place to keep fans and the pilots safe during this family friendly event. In October, we celebrate Nevada Day. It is the largest statehood celebration in the nation. Nevada became a state on October 31st of 1864, but the Nevada Day Party is held the last Friday of October. In 2014, we celebrate our sesquicentennial, which means 150 years of statehood, but we just call it NV150 to make it easy. This is just a sampling of some of the many events hosted in the area. When you live here, 
you get to explore them all. But sometimes you just want to get away. That's another reason Reno is amazing. With Lake Tahoe less than an hour's drive away, it brings the crowds any time of the year. In the wintertime, the Tahoe region is home to some of the best resorts in the world, like Squaw Valley, host of the 1960 Winter Games, and if all goes well, the 2022 ones as well. With 18 ski and snowboard resorts to choose from, that's enough fresh powder for everyone. Once the skis are put up, you can snowshoe, hike, bike, whatever you prefer. The Tahoe Rim Trail circles the majestic lake, giving hikers of all levels a chance to experience the Tahoe scenery on foot. And in the summer, the snow might be gone from the mountains, but the outdoor enthusiasts are still there. Lake Tahoe is the second deepest lake in the United States, voted the best lake in 2013 by USA Today. If you like a little mystery as well, look for Tahoe Tessie, an alleged lake-dwelling creature in Tahoe's cold water, similar to the Loch Ness Monster. Lake Tahoe's only outlet, the Truckee River, and there's fun on those waters too. Rafting, canoeing, and fishing bring people to its waters. You can follow the Truckee from California through the heart of downtown Reno, all the way to Pyramid Lake, 40 miles north of Reno. Sports enthusiasts will love Reno. Yeah, we're the home of the Reno Aces, a minor league team in the Pacific Coast League. We're the AAA affiliate to the Arizona Diamondbacks, and we proudly celebrated when they brought home the national championship in 2012. Now the Reno Bighorns are the NBA Development League team here in Reno. They're named after the state animal of Nevada, which happens to be the desert bighorn sheep. For football lovers, you won't find any better fans than at the University of Nevada Wolfpack football games. Here at Mackey Stadium, the game's a religion for many across the area. The stadium seats nearly 30,000 people. Nevada's biggest rivals are Boise State and UNLV. The University of Nevada Reno has an enrollment of more than 16,000 students. Most of the students are from Nevada. It's the oldest university in the state. Truckee Meadows Community College is a two-year school and is part of the Nevada system of higher education. Nearly 13,000 students learn here. And for younger students, they'll probably attend school in the Washoe County School District. There are 14 high schools in the Reno Sparks area, 13 middle schools, 64 elementary schools. There are also charter school and private school options. Goldilocks and the Three Bears would have loved the Reno area. It's not too hot and not too cold. It can be just right. We get more than 300 days of sunshine each year. We live in an arid climate and sit at 4,400 feet above sea level. The great Sierra Nevada mountain range rises just to our west. We can get our share of severe weather too. The winter months can bring snowstorms measuring in feet up in the mountains. Have you heard the tale of the Donner Party? The group that ventured into the Sierra Nevada mountain range to our west a little too late in 1846. They became trapped in snow up to 10 feet deep. Modern technology and road developments improve the travel west for us, but during the winter months, the road over the Donner Pass can be closed while snow plows clear the way. Between April and October, we have our best chance of rainfall. We average about seven and a half inches a year. Flash flooding is one of the biggest concerns in the Truckee Meadows when the rain falls. Now these storms are rarely severe, but carry a much greater danger. The lightning in these storms can spark wildfires. Depending on the wind, these fires can spread dangerously fast. In recent years, the Reno area has battled two notable fires. The Collin Ranch Fire, which burned in the fall of 2011. This fire destroying 30 homes in an upscale area over the course of two days, damaging 12 more. Then in January of 2012, someone improperly disposed of fireplace ashes, sparking the Washoe Drive fire. 29 homes destroyed in that fire. Reno is home to a variety of neighborhoods. There's the eclectic Midtown with unique shops and restaurants for entertainment of all ages. Downtown holds many of our casinos packed with restaurants and entertainment as the beautiful Truckee River flows by. The Old Southwest is filled with tree-lined streets and family-friendly neighborhoods. You'll see neighborhoods climbing up the beautiful mountains. This is Northwest Reno. It's where I call home. Down below, we've got older homes, more established landscaping, kind of a quaint feel. Up above, a mixture, gated communities, sprawling yards, and spectacular views. Now to my neighborhood. South of the Reno Court, you'll find Double Diamond. This newer community is near much of the suburban shopping and dining areas. We have three malls in Reno. The Summit sits at the bottom of Mount Rose Highway and is an outdoor mall. Farmers markets and wine walks bring locals out for window shopping and fun. 
Meadowwood Mall is the traditional mall in town with several big name anchor stores and a renovation in 2013 that's bringing this older mall back to life. Looking for a deal? Try the Legends Outlet Mall in Sparks. You can shop, eat, see a movie, and enjoy the Sparks Marina. Just outside of Reno are several unique cities you can't find anywhere else. Meet legislators in Carson City, the Nevada State Capitol. Go back in time to the Old West in Virginia City and live life on the Comstock. You can live your top gun dream by heading out to Fallon Naval Air Station. And just north of town, you can visit Pyramid Lake on Native American tribal land. Now with all the adventures across northern Nevada, it's no wonder that so many Colo employees call this place home. We hope you consider making the Truckee Meadows your family home and Colo 8 News Now your news home.